हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम ऑन वेरिएबल एक्सेलरेशन मोशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इज अ प्रॉब्लम द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल ट्रैवलिंग इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन इज गिवन बाय वी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स टी माइनस थ्री टी स्क्वेर मीटर पर सेकेंड वेर टी इज इन अ सेकेंड इफ एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेन टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो डिटरमाइन the particle deceleration and the position when t is equal to 3 second how far has the particle travel during the 3 seconds and 3 seconds time interval and what its average speed so in this question they ask four things first is a particle deceleration then position of the particle when t is equal to 3 seconds and this acceleration of particle when t is equal to 3 seconds and they also ask the distance travel by the particle in time interval 3 seconds and what is average speed so in this question they ask four things first is a particle deceleration second is a position third is a particle distance travel by the particle and fourth is the average speed so in this question they given velocity which is a function of t means if the time changes the velocity of particle also changes means here the acceleration of the particle is keep on changing with respect to time so it is a वेरिएबल एक्सलरेशन मोशन प्रॉब्लम ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट द प्रॉब्लम सो यी नो वेलॉसिटी विच इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टी दैट इज वी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स टी माइनस थ्री टी स्क्वेर ओके फर्स्ट दे आस्क टू फाइंड द पार्टिकल डिसन मीन्स यर दे आस्क टू फाइंड what is a particle acceleration when t is equal to 3 second so we know if we know velocity and in question they ask to find the acceleration of the particle then we have to differentiate okay so differentiate with respect to time okay so here we get dv by dt is equal to 6 minus 6t okay we know acceleration is rate of change of velocity with respect to times means a is equal to dv by dt therefore a is equal to 6 minus 6t okay this is our first equation they ask what is the particle dis deceleration when t is equal to 3 second so we get equation of the acceleration in terms of t so simply put t is equal to 3 second okay so we get acceleration 6 minus 6 into 3 that is minus 12 meter per second square okay this minus sign indicates the acceleration of particle is keep on decreasing means it is a deceleration and in question they also mention find the particle deceleration so here our final answer is a is equal to 12 meter per second square it is deceleration okay so we first we find out the first unknown that is particle deceleration okay now we have to find the position of the particle when t is equal to 3 second we know if we know the velocity and they ask the position or displacement of the particle then we have to simply integrate velocity okay 
so we know the velocity that is v is equal to v is equal to 60 minus 3 t square okay velocity is equal to 60 minus 3 t square okay and we have to find the position of the particle that is x okay or s so we know v is equal to ds upon dt therefore this equation becomes ds upon dt is equal to 60 minus 3 t square okay so ds is equal to 60 minus 3 t square into dt we have to find the displacement of the particle or position of the particle when t is equal to 3 seconds okay so simply integrate on both sides okay so we get integration of 1 with respect to ds integration of 60 minus 3 t square with respect to t okay integration of 1 with respect to ds is s integration of 60 is 6 t square by 2 integration of 3 t square is 3 t cube by 3 and integration one additional is constant okay so we have to calculate constant first which is unknown here but in question they give condition that is if s is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 okay so we have condition so we write it first equation of displacement that is 3t square minus 3t cube plus c okay conditions at t is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 simply substitute the value of t in above equation and s is equal to above equation so we get value of c is equal to 0 so we get the equation of displacement or position s is equal to 3 t square minus t cube okay here here they ask what is the position of particle when t is equal to 3 seconds to simply substitute t is equal to 3 second okay so we get s is equal to 3 into 3 square minus 3 cube and we get the final answer s is equal to 0 meter that is the position of particle when t is equal to 3 second this answer what this answer indicates let's see if the particle start motion from point A, okay, and, and the final initial position of particle is A, th this particle travel a distance, some distance, and again come back to initial position in 3 seconds. And displacement is depends on initial and final position. So, here the displacement is 0 meter, okay. So, we get two unknowns. First, particle deceleration and second is the position of the particle when t is equal to 3 second let's find out the third unknown okay the third unknown is what is the distance travel by particle in time interval 3 second here they ask to calculate a distance not a displacement displacement is depend on initial and final position okay and they ask the distance Dis distance is does not depend on initial and final position it is a distance covered by particle during the time interval okay as i mentioned earlier in three second particle come back to its initial position means at some point the velocity of particle becomes zero and start motion in reverse direction okay so we first find out the at what time the velocity of particles becomes zero okay 
here. So we have to first we find what time velocity becomes zero. What time velocity becomes zero? Okay. We know the equ equation of we have equation of velocity that is six t minus three t square. Okay. Simply substitute v is equal to zero. Okay. If we solve this equation, we get answer t is equal to two seconds. Okay. In two seconds, the velocity of particle becomes zero. Okay. So we have to calculate the distance traveled by particle in three seconds. Okay. So here at zero second, the position of particle at when t is equal to zero, the position of particle s is equal to zero. Okay. When t is equal to three, the position of particle is same. We get the same answer at the t is equal to three second. The position of particle is zero meter. Here, here we find out the time where velocity becomes zero. It indicates the particle starts the motion, which is keep on decreasing and becomes zero and start reverse motion and come back to its initial position in three seconds. So we have <laughs> values that is s at a time zero is zero meter. Displacement of particle when three seconds is zero meter. Now we have find displacement of the particle when t is equal to two second. That is, so we have equation displacement is equal to three t square minus t cube. Okay, so we get three into two squares. Three into two square minus two cube. Okay. If we solve this equation, we get answer four meter. Means from zero to two second, from zero to two seconds, the distance traveled by particle is four meter. And next in one second, the dist. For example, let's see s one is the position of particle here, and s two is the position of particle here. In two second. The distance covered by particle is four meter. Okay, two seconds. Okay, in two seconds, the distance traveled by particle is four second. Then particle start come back to its initial position in next one second. Okay, the position of particle when t is equal to zero is s two. In two second, the position of particle is four meter. Okay. In two second, it's covered to four meter distance. In further next one second, the position of the particle is s three, which is the initial position, and the distance covered by particle is same four meter. Then the they ask the distance travel by the particle. They ask to calculate distance travel by the particle. That is distance travel by Particle in time interval three second. That is from position s zero to s two first means s two minus s zero. Okay. Plus mod of s three minus s two. From s zero to s two, displaced distance cover is four meter. Mod plus s two to s three is four meter. The total distance traveled by particle is eight meter. Okay. We get the three unknowns. First, particle deceleration. Then we have, we calculate position of the particle when t is equal to three second. We calculate the distance traveled by particle in time interval three second. The fourth unknown is average speed in time time interval three second. Say what, say sir. Some kind of okay. So average speed particle in three seconds. Eight meter distance travel. 
सो वॉट इज द एवरेज स्पीड सो वी नो द फॉर्मुला एवरेज स्पीड इज इक्वल टू डिस्टन्स ट्रैवल टोटल डिस्टन्स ट्रैवल डिवाइड बाय टाइम इंटरवल सो इन थ्री सेकेंड्स इन टाइम इंटरवल थ्री सेकेंड्स द डिस्टन्स ट्रैवल बाय द पार्टिकल इज एट मीटर सो वी गेट द एवरेज स्पीड दैट इज एट बाय थ्री इफ यू सॉल्व फर्दर वी गेट द एवरेज स्पीड दैट इज वी इज इक्वल टू वी ए वी जे इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके दिस इज अवर फाइनल आंसर थैंक यू इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल थैंक यू